What's up guys? Welcome back to some more House Flipper. This is episode 6, baby. Today is the 28th of October, so episode 1 is actually just coming out now. Um, so leave a comment either in this video or in any other previous video. I just want to see what you guys think of the series so far, but uh, let's get into this one, baby. We got Catherine S. She says trees need cutting down. Okay, so I know I know we need an axe, so maybe this is how we get that. She says, God damn it, I, I can't read. Okay, she says, Hi, I've got some trees on my lot. My grandfather planted them. That to me seems like it should be one sentence. She says they've grown so big they've overshadowed the entire lot. There's nothing growing underneath them, and I've been dreaming of a flowery garden and catching some sun on my deck. I need you to cut down at least two of them. Can I count on you? Uh, duh, lady. You're gonna supply me with an axe? Because then, uh, you definitely can. Oh, and I really want a small pond by the deck. All that is needed to remove the trees. All that's needed is to remove the trees and place a pond. I will take care of the flowers myself. Thanks, Catherine S. Alright, Catherine. Ooh, that's a nice, that's a nice lot, actually. We can work with that. I wonder if those were windows or doors. Congratulations, you've unlocked a new tool. Getting rid of big trees requires cutting them down. An axe is sure to be useful. Remember that for safety, the tree has to be cut as low as possible. As low as possible. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's run to the back. Looks like this is the area she wants these two trees gone. Honestly, lady, I think you're crazy because your house is what's giving the shadow, not the trees. The tree shadow is clear over here. I guess it does depend on what time of day it is, but shoot. I, yeah, I suppose if this is early morning, that, that makes sense. Let's get our new axe out here. Try to get as low as possible. Can we chop a tree down here? Oh, baby. We sure can. I've never used the axe in this game, actually. This is pretty awesome. Do you have to... We we might have to, like, move... Work our way around it, maybe. Oh, my God. Not into the house. No. Okay. We're good. We're good. That's interesting. And it's just gone. There it goes. Bye-bye. Okay. That's not weird at all. All right. Let's try this one. I didn't... I thought I was going to make it so it wouldn't go into the house. I guess if I'm... If I'm playing woodcutting simulator right now there we go and timber and down through the ground what a great animation okay so let's press e to remove the tree trunk on both of those there we go and then she wants to bury and film the oblong shaped pond okay so let's do pond here oops be nice if I could spell pond. Here we go, the oblong shaped pond. It's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get a different color here, maybe. Red. Ooh, no, that's gross. Brown. Brown doesn't look too bad. Let's use brown. It sort of matches the brick a little bit. Okay, so where does she want this? By the deck. I wouldn't call that a deck, per se. Let's put it let's put it over here. This looks like a nice spot for it. All right, pick up our shovel. Dig a little hole for it. There we go. Hole is now dug. We can place that in. Use that really good animation to cover the soil. And then we just have to fill it. And I think that's it, honestly. All right, looks good to me. And that's it. All tasks completed. Dude, if, if every level were, were like this, that'd be so awesome. This was super easy. All right, let's see what she's going to give us for that. Are you kidding me? Actually, hey, 420, baby. <laughs> 420, we got $420 and 75 cents from that. I'll take it. That didn't take us too long, and now we have an axe. So if we had trees on our lot, we could go through and cut them down. All right, let's see what else we got here. We got ninety thousand dollars sitting in the bank. Anthony Gray. We're just we're just gonna keep going top down, I think, unless something you know really jumps out at us. But 
Anthony Gray, he says, Mr. or Mrs. Thank you, I appreciate that. Doesn't doesn't know me, you know? Why, why would you... Whatever, anyway. Recently, large rooms have become popular, which is proven by the fact that my neighbor and the neighbor of my neighbor <laughs> demolished several walls in their home. I would also like to have several walls demolished in my house. The walls between the living room and the kitchen and corridor seem unnecessary. Well, they are, bro. What is more, the neighbor from across the street painted the walls in her bedroom with a bright sky blue color. And I would also love to have the same. This dude, okay, talk about a copycat. I believe that such a professional company will deal with my requests at a very low cost without any problems. Best regards, Anthony Gray. Alright, this dude's gonna be a dick. Uh, right off the bat, I can tell that. He's not gonna want to pay us, like, anything. Uh, okay, 70%. We haven't even done anything when we already have 70% complete. Okay, I'm just try I'm trying to see what all he has going on here. Got a nice little room there. Another bedroom there. Kind of a small bathroom, actually. I was I was assuming we'd have a, a larger bathroom than that. And then, yes, this kitchen. Okay, it is very awkward now that I see where the kitchen is at. Also, he needs some cabinets, man. Okay, so he's going to try to, you know, whittle us down and, and, and not want to pay us as much based off of his his lovely email to us so let's get rid of all the unnecessary stuff here that like okay I don't want to earn money this way okay well it's it's gonna come down cuz that that walls get knocked down so okay and there was one more door I thought no 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 no. that's it let's close that up get our big old sledgehammer out and then we're gonna start from the top and work our way down so far, it looks like I'm doing it correctly. I know a couple episodes back, I actually tore out a wall that did not need to be torn down. And, not only that, but I placed a wall that didn't even need to be placed. It was great. I had a, I had a great time that episode. Okay, smash that up. And the bottom half. Boom. God, we are a one-man wrecking crew here, baby. All right, we got a couple more walls to destroy here. This isn't so bad. I could I could do this for for a living, for sure. Just be a be a demo crew guy. Just come through and smash walls out. Now, I'm not the strongest person in the world. But you give me a you give me a super weighted sledgehammer, I'm sure I could make quick work of some walls. All right, and all the way over here, this one needs torn down as well. And then he wants us to paint, but not only paint, copy the exact same color that his neighbor or the neighbor of his neighbor put in their house. This dude sucks. Alright, smash out these lintels. We're not going to be having any doors in here anymore. I wonder if he called um, the people that control like the code. Uh, if houses are up to code or not and was like hey I'm I'm gonna tear out all these walls I just want to make sure that none of them are load-bearing <laughs> I uh, I doubt he did that to be honest highly doubt he did that okay that's all gonna crumble beautiful can we sell these now okay sick yeah I tried to get that done beforehand and it wouldn't let us all right, let's see what else we got going on here. It looks like this room is actually done. No tasks in the bathroom. Here he wants sleepy blue. All right, dude. We got you with the sleepy blue. Sleepy blue. We're probably going to need two cans. One in each corner. That's kind of the best strategy that I've found anyways. Get our paint on here. God, I can't wait until we can paint multiple wall panels at one time instead of just two. We will be flying through these rooms. Okay, so we're officially done with the, the minimum requirements for this dude's place. 
But I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. I gotta, I gotta see the job finished. No one would want to come home to a room that's only half painted sleepy blue. But again, I don't think this dude's gonna pay out. I think he's gonna be a little frugal on this one. Maybe even tell us that we didn't do what he, what he wanted. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, there and there. Back there as well. All right, we just have to do under this window. Easy as that. Hop over here to this other wall. I'm trying to paint above the radiators. Kind of, kind of difficult. New skill point, baby. Let's see what we got. All right, 20% uh, less paint usage. Yeah, that would be nice. Let's do, oh shit, and I was just, I, I mean, shoot, geez. Wow, PG. I was just talking about how I wanted to be able to paint more walls at one time. Yeah, let's do that, because we've already got 50% faster painting, so I think this might speed it up even more. If we do that, we can do sections of three now. But we're we're definitely gonna gonna want to use that that faster painting eventually, and probably the less paint usage as well. There we go. All right, is that that room done? I think so. Did we miss any cracks or crevices? Uh, it looks like it's 97% done. So let's see. Obviously, we missed a spot. Looks like there's a light space there. 98%. Any other light spots? Spots we didn't quite get all the way? No, I don't see any, to be honest. Oh, there we go. Boom. All right, sick. Sell that and sell that. We are now 100% complete. Dude, this was a fast order, too. All right, let's, uh, let's see. 6,300 bucks, dude. All right, I take everything I said about Anthony Gray back. Um, dude's not so bad. All right, we got a new negotiation skill point. Let's see, we got quick orders, negative 2% of the order's requirements, or an increased chance of successful, successful negotiations by 5%. So the price negotiation, that's gonna be nice when we're um, flipping a house. The quick orders, that's gonna be nice when we're doing Order. So I'm going to go ahead and do the one that, that increases our order capabilities. Because we're about to do another one. Right meow. Alright, let's hop in the mail here. Uh, it says playground and barbecue. That could be a fun one. We haven't done a whole lot with the with the exterior of houses. Let's, let's see what this dude wants. He says, my daughter grows so fast and, and see. And she is so curious about the world around her. I would love... To prepare a play corner for her in the garden it seems to me that a swing a sand pit and a rocker will be just right once you get started with the garden maybe you could also plant some shrubs for me as my wife bought them for me okay uh, that would be really nice we've already enlarged the terrace but now there's so much space and not much will not much to fill it with a pergola would also be useful here uh, and a grill and a table for the whole okay this dude's asking for a lot oh my god uh, big enough to fit all of us even the grandparents when they visit us oh and would you also remove all the nettles too is that a i think that's a weed oh yeah nettles that's like um uh like poison ivy almost but from england <laughs> from the Europe area. <laughs> uh, he says, those are the worst. I don't want my sweetie to get some burns from them. Yes, uh, nettles are nettles are not good. I've seen videos of dudes just like jumping in the nettles and coming out with, with bad burns from them. Actually, I think it's worse than poison ivy. So it looks like, yeah, remove the weeds. I always thought this was ditch weed. Apparently that they're nettles. I was just going off of what they sort of resemble. All right, get rid of all this stuff here. He wasn't kidding. I mean, dude, Roundup's not that expensive. <laughs> just, 
You can spray that shit any- I mean, stuff anywhere. Okay, looks like we got a couple more over here. And right behind here. He wasn't kidding either. His back or his background. His um, backyard is not that spacious. I don't really know how we're gonna how we're gonna get this to work for him, but I will do my very best. Okay, a couple more weedies in here. There we go. Some more back here. Oh yeah, this area is full of them. All right, we got one more here and one more over here. Awesome. Okay, so he wants us to mow the lawn. That should be fairly easy and honestly we can just use our weed whacker for this section this ain't nothing ain't nothing compared to what I've done boy okay and come back through the back side get around that tree okay maybe the, maybe the lawnmower would have been faster but that's all right Okay, and done. Mowing the lawn complete. Alright, he wants us to assemble a wooden child swing. That should be easy in this area specifically. Um, let's put the kid swing maybe in this corner. So I'm just going to go to store, wooden, wooded, wooden child. Uh, we're, we're getting a wooden child. <laughs> uh, let's use dark wood, or actually cherry okay uh little known fact here the the redwood or cherry wood best playhouse wood ever super strong super durable um let's see let's do that in light the base where's the base oh the base of the swing maybe we'll do that cherry as well frame cherry and that cherry handles dark. No, handles light. No, dark. <laughs> I can't make up my mind, damn it. All right, it looks like it can only swing one direction. Love that band. And, we dance all night. and let's get the assembly going here. Put our handles on, put the swing in. Dude, that's nothing. I feel like, realistically, they're probably going to run into this. But, I mean, they can get rid of that on their own. I don't, I don't care. Um, replace rooster spring rocker that we can slap in the corner here rooster spring rocker base let's do a red I guess oh wait no it's a rooster yellow obviously decoration let's do red there ornament I, uh, I kind of like the blue better there we go buy that that looks like a rooster Put that perfectly in the corner right here. Hopefully they don't get too crazy and smack the tree. Whoa, dude. They they gave it an animation. That's so cool. All right. Um, place object sand pit. That should be pretty easy. Sand pit. And let's use the cherry for that as well. By now. Kind of put it at an angle, actually. I, I kind of like that. There we go. Got our sand pit in there. Uh, plant a small cherry. Small cherry. Is that a, like a cherry tree? I feel like that's going to be... Oops, cheery. Small cherry. Yeah, okay. That's kind of weird, but... Whatever. Let's put that Let's put that sucker right there. Dig a little pit for it. One more. All right. The hole is now dug. Let's cover that with soil. Yeah, it looks like a cherry tree to me. Give it plenty of water. Boom. Alright, if I were Mr. Beast, we'd have to do uh, 20 million more. <laughs> or sorry, I, I'm not even going to try to math that. 19,999,000 more. <laughs> oh wait, that's not right either. It'd be 19,999,999 more trees. Okay, whatever. Uh, looks like this area is done. This one, okay, so this is where he wants the pergola. 
I'm gonna say best spot for a pergola is probably right in front of here. So pergola moco, is that is that how you would say that? I'm just gonna put moco. Okay, and it looks like, I, I, I kinda wanna do some contrast. So let's get, let's get the dark wood one, the wenge one. Square that up. Place that down for now and then we'll adjust it over as we see fit that looks a little bit more center there now we just have to center it on the screen door okay is that is that where it was right there okay I'd say right right there's probably as center as we're gonna get it I kind of like that though that looks that looks nice all right, so we place that object. Um, does he want two of them? He says, "Oh, so we okay, so we have to we have to place one more." All right, let's slide this thing over then. In that case, I didn't know that was happening. All right, looks lined up right there. Just got to bring it out to about there. And then let's get one more of those. Butt them up right next to one another. There we go, that's looking pretty good. I can I can dig that. All right, it says place ellipse couch. So let's get the ellipse, oops, two L's maybe? Ellipse couch. Ooh, that looks fun. How do you sit in that? <laughs> Seriously. Dark brown, that's ugly. Ooh, that, that looks cool. Base, let's do Let's do dark brown base. Actually, black. Let's do black base. Cushion, let's do white. And the top, let's do white. Super modern right here, baby. All right, we'll put that, say about there. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. And then table Gertrude. What a great name. Gertrude, table. That we're gonna use the dark one, the wenge one. Let's actually, let's put this over here, like that. And then chair Gertrude, that should be pretty easy as well. Gertrude, chair, we're gonna need six of them. I say we go white on the chairs. Just, uh, just to break it up a bit. One there, one there, six of them really, one there. Must have a lot of friends. In there. Oh no no no! It was for it was for uh, in case Grandma and Grandpa came by, right? Okay, and then the grill. Grill we'll put over here in the corner. Looks like a nice grill spot. Oh what? Grill, Vengel. Is that how you say that? Vengel. Vengel. Oops. Ven Van Vangel. Whatever. I don't care anymore. And let's put that right there, perfect spot. Dude, this looks nice. This looks seriously really, really good. Okay, so two grills? Jesus, dude's balling. All right, we'll slap another grill over here then. What a weirdo. I don't know why you need two grills. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. He wants two grills in this area? Oh, oh, I get it now. Do you see the green right here? Probably not. It doesn't really show up the best. So he, he wants a grill out here. So I guess we'll put a, a grill right there and then we can sell this one. That's super weird. Why wouldn't you want it up against the house? Anyways, looks like the barbecue grill area is done. Over here, he wanted a Sammy table. Okay, let's do this in white. Looks good to me. Okay, and we'll plop that down, just say in the corner there. And then sofa Sammy. Oh God, we're gonna fit a couch over here? Not a chance, dude. Oh, they're not that big. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, let's do the pillow white and let's make the base dark gray, actually. That looks pretty good. Okay, how are we gonna do this? so it doesn't look terrible. 
yeah. <laughs> this looks great. I'm so happy with this. There we go. Wow, what a great setup. Okay. And now all we have to do is plant all of these things. That is wife bought for him. Dude, be a man. Use your hands. Grab a shovel. Plant some stuff. It's easy. Super easy. Look at that. Boom. And once more. All right, that one's done. Move on to the next. It is nice that he had it all like laid out for us already though, so we didn't have to decide on where we were gonna put his precious plants at. Oops, we gotta cover that first. Definitely not trying to mow that thing. Give it plenty of water, looks good to me. And I think this is the last one. Okay, we'll cover that up. All right, is that, is that the, nope, we got one more, one more. Okay, and cover that with soil. Whoops, I almost dug it even deeper. All right, I think that should actually do it. Let's see, did we get everything? Yeah, it says all tasks completed. So that was kind of a lot of work. Let's see what we're gonna get for that. 7,100 bucks. I'll take that, I'll take that. And we didn't even need to place the two pergolas. That was, that was just me being stupid. And we got a new email, I just wanna check that quick. A bunker. Ooh, we got two bunker missions, that could be fun. But uh, I think that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see me do next. If you wanna see me tackle those bunkers, I could definitely do that. But uh, we're gonna leave things off there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.